everyone this is rashi and welcome back to the reading platter it's been so long that i have done this sit down video and filmed any video of any kind not even on my second channel so it's been like a month and a half since i have filmed a video i have been posting a lot of shorts uh, but now i'm done with my exam and i'm working on a lot of things that are going to come in 2022 so um i'm really excited for those things and i'm preparing a lot of things i'm doing a lot of things and i'm really hyped up so let's hope everything goes fine and i don't have any exam uh for a while so yeah i'm not free i still have to prepare for my masters and but still i don't have the deadline of an exam hanging on my head so yes we will meet frequently so um now as you have noticed i have been posting videos on tuesday thursday and saturdays so i will be filming videos as well those were not only for shorts it is for these videos as well so in today's video we are going to talk about my december tbr so um half of the month has passed um but i still wanted to do a tbr video because this is not like a simple tbr or something i really wanted to try something different so what i have decided is um because of some reason i could not participate in thousand doors readathon i did participate once and i loved it i loved the concept so what i figured is uh, this is the last month and i have to complete a lot of prompts that i have fixed for myself including the monthly genre challenge and the 52 weeks challenge and many other readathon prompts that i haven't completed so overall i guess there were uh, 23 prompts that i have to finish and it is very difficult you know to pick a book now for those prompts you know fix a book and read 23 books in 15 days but um i do have a new idea so what i have done is i have divided these prompts into parts like five parts so what i'll do is i'll pick any book that i want to read um i'm hopefully thinking of picking an arc because there are a lot of arcs that i have received on my email thank you to the authors and the publishers for considering me for your reviews um so i will be picking one arc out of any of those and whatever rating i give to that book um i will choose prompts according to that so let me explain in detail let me get the things that i need so there are not 23 but 27 prompts so i have divided it into uh five prompts for five stars five like five prompts for every and two prompts that i did not like for the ones that i did not so what i'll do is i'll pick a book the rating i give to that book i'll pick my next book according to that for example If I give the book five star rating, I'll have five prompts to choose from. That will be fixed. That I'll tell you now, which I have written on the sheet of paper which is in front of me, and it is done for every star rating, like five, four, three, two, one, and I DNF books as well. So I also did it for DNFing. So two prompts for if I even DNF a book. So. If I rate my book five star, the previous book that I'll read five star, then I will be picking next book off of these five prompts that are um a popular book and a woman as a main character. Hmm, book with more than one main character. a random reading prompt so i'll generate a random reading prompt and choose a book for that and a short book that is between 250 to 300 pages so these are 
all the nice prompts so if i read a book five star you know i need something good as well for the next one as well so you know that was necessary if i rate a book four stars then i'll book my next then i'll pick my next book based on these five prompts any one of these five prompts that are um a self-published author we are supporting everyone here a book that is published more than five years ago and a book involving magic i love books involving magic so um and a 2020 release and a book with a beautiful cover these were pretty simple for three star my next book will be out of any one of the next five prompts that are um a book from a new author an author that i haven't read before so an arc will work perfect for that and a gifted book a hyped book and a book published in 2018 specifically and a family's pick last time my family was really cruel to me they picked it by stephen king the longest book on my tbr and the one that i did not read so this prompt i have to fulfill you know if i rate a book two stars then i'll pick from oh it's it's so confusing i have to find from a list of prompts i haven't made a fair list um a book by an asian author and a book set in my birth country that is india and a book with a one word title um a book by an, by a trans author and a tbr wet so uh, okay if i rate a book one star then i will pick from um a funny book and a 2020 goodreads winner and a book with more than one author a book that has won any prize including the goodreads or winner that counts as well and a second chance author so there are not many second chance authors but still if i dnf the book my next book will be either a book with a disability rep and um a book with a map these both both of these books are difficult to find for me because if there are such books they're not in the genre of my interest so yeah the this was this is what i'm going to do i know you haven't understood any of this and i don't have time to vlog this month's tbr but i'll still do it because i really want to try it and if i enjoy it and i'm successful in it then i will do it some other time and will blog it for sure so this was it for my december tbr mm, i received one arc that i really want to read that i'll start with that is from fame to ruin by gina bazaar i guess you pronounce i'm pronouncing it correctly so i'll start with that book and then i'll find my way to my last book and maybe we'll discuss it in my wrap up which i don't do now but i'll do a 2021 wrap up so we'll discuss it in that one this is it for today's video and we'll meet in the next one